We finally have the documents. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Disclaimer. Everything stated in this video is my opinion in my opinion only. And just like everything else in these cases we discuss here on this channel, everything is alleged. You heard right. We finally have the documentation that shows the granting of the change of venue motion in the Idaho student murder case. Now, I do not have the time to go through it right now. What I am doing at this moment is showing you guys. I am going to have it playing through me talking and telling you this, but we're going to finally read the very ending conclusion. Now, this is a 20 page document. It shows it was actually filed on 9 6. And as you guys know, we have been hearing from different sources that they all heard from Steve Gonsalves that this had happened. I showed you guys a post from JLR on Twitter. I showed y'all what the Gonsalveses were talking about on the Facebook page, but also showed you how the document wasn't posted yet. So everyone that was saying they have these special inside sources, again, guys, it's just Steve. <laughs> Steve literally just sends stuff all over the place, okay? So now we're going to get to the ending conclusion here. And again, we're going to go live tonight. I get off work and then I have stuff that I have to handle in my home and then we will go live. It will probably be 7.30 to 8.15 is, is the, the, the start time. Just depends. Now this is again a 20 page document. So when we go live tonight, we're going to be reading the entire thing. So just be aware, be aware that this will be a 20 page read. So let's get to the conclusion. Koberger's motion to change venue is granted pursuant to Idaho criminal rule 21A and 21B, consistent with the language of Idaho criminal rule 21C to B. This court orders a transfer of venue without specifying the new place of venue and refers the case to the administrative directors of the courts for assignment by the Supreme Court to a court of proper venue in another judicial district and assignment of a specific judge to preside in the criminal proceedings. Now, guys. This sounds to me like not only will the Supreme Court be the ones deciding which actual county this will take place in, but it also sounds like a different judge is going to also be assigned. Now, I guess that the Supreme Court could keep Judge Judge as the judge, but this does sound to me like they do have the option to assign someone different. Now, we do know so far that the defense seems to really, 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 really want to go to Ada County. There has been very high profile cases that took place in Ada County. It's very well secure. The jurors for those cases, Chad Daybell, Lori Vallow, came out and said how much the place made them feel secure. But then we also have the state mentioning Nez Perce quite a bit. But we also have other counties in play when it comes to the survey. But we also need to keep in mind that survey doesn't really do much of anything. Now, the Supreme Court might take into consideration what the survey results were, but those are not the only counties in Idaho. So technically, I guess the Supreme Court could pick wherever they want to. I'm guessing so. But yeah, am I reading this correctly, guys? Does this not sound like not only is the Supreme Court going to pick the county, but very much also sounds as if a new judge could be assigned. Interesting turn of events, honestly. Again, I will go live later on tonight and we will read through the entire document, but I wanted you guys to see this because it literally just popped up. It is right now 11.15 a.m. I took a quick break after my last call to get this out to you. Please share the news. We finally have the documentation. And again, I'll be live tonight. I will have it up and posted. Make sure that you have your notification bell set to all, like I've been saying here a lot lately to remind you guys, because it looks like a lot of my push notifications are not going out. And it also looks like a lot of you guys that watch me, according to my analytics, are not subscribed. So what are you waiting for? I'm about as real as it gets out here, guys. About as real as it gets. And I try to get you the information in this case as soon as possible. My heart's in this one. We in it for the real thing. Again, let me know what you think about this new change. Am I reading this correctly? 
Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you like the way that I present this information and give my opinion, please do not forget to leave a like on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And as I mentioned before, please do not forget to leave your notification bell set to all so you don't miss any of my rants, reactions, reviews, updates, or deep dives. See y'all tonight.